Hi everyone, I'm Katrina and today I'm going to be going through all of the books that I'm planning on reading during the month of March. With university starting, things are going to go real chaotic and I have a lot of books that I need to read outside of uni as well. So considering how many books or rather the lack of books that I've been reading so far this year, this is going to be ambitious, but I need to do it. So I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to start out with the books that I need to read for university. Now at the point in which I'm filming this, I have no idea what all of the texts are for my modernism class. So I have no idea what else I need to be reading aside from these two physical books that I've got. As well as I don't know which weeks we'll be studying each of the texts, so I don't know when I need to read them. But I'm putting these books in my TBR tentatively. They may change depending on when I need to read them. The first of which is To the Lighthouse by Virginia Woolf, which follows the Ramsey family as they holiday at the Isle of Skye near a lighthouse. Apparently this is Virginia Woolf's most popular novel as well, which is very interesting. It's also quite short, less than 200 pages, so that's a bonus. There's also A Portrait of the Artist as a Young Man by James Joyce, which follows a man named Stephen Dedalus throughout his life, and apparently it's supposed to reflect James Joyce as well a little bit, and that's really all I know. This one isn't too long either, I think it's just over 200 pages. Very reassuring that I don't have huge, chunky books yet. I'm also hoping to read Aurelia by Lynette Noni and I want to finish this one during March because Dracora is coming out in April and I want to have completed this in time for Dracora. Aurelia is the second book in the Modoran Chronicles and in the first book, Akane, we follow Alex as she stumbles across a new world. The only person who can help her return home is actually missing until he's able to be found. She attends Akane Academy. The Weight of Water by Sarah Crossan. This is a book that's actually written in verse. This is quite a short one as well. I think it's just over 200 pages, so this won't take me too long to read as well. In The Weight of Water, we follow Kasienka and her mother as they move to London. And as a result, Kasienka is quite lonely, her mother is heartbroken, she doesn't really have many friends, um, until someone enters her life. The Silent Invasion by James Bradley. This is set only 10 years from now, and the human race is dying. Every form of life on Earth has been infected by spores from space, so we follow Callie, who learns that her younger sister becomes infected by these spores, and they flee on the way to the zone so that they can avoid being terminated by the quarantine. The last book that I'm hoping to read this month is Sabriel by Garth Nix. Sabriel's father goes missing, and in order to find him, she has to venture into the Old Kingdom, where there is random magic and the dead don't stay dead. I'm very excited by this one. I've heard great things about this series. Those are all of the books that I'm hoping to read during the month of March. I'm very curious about what you're hoping to read this month and what you're most excited for. I think for me it's probably Raelia or Sabriel can't decide. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget that I post a video every Tuesday and Friday, so hit that notification bell to be alerted when I post a new video. But until next time, I'll talk to you in the comments. Bye!